All right, howdy. I'm standing here in the doorway to my attic, and I want to jump on quick and give a little up video update about what's happening up here right now. So, well, so far I've taken out, this used to be all plaster here, and I've ripped out all the plaster. It was a dirty mess. I put in some paneling here. There's a lot of paneling up through all this. But uh, let me take this up and show you what's happening. Um, this first room you walk into, so I'm in the middle of my house right now. There's a slanted ceiling behind me, flat ceiling and then goes down over here to my stairway. And a really cool old vintage Bose Wave System stereo. Those are my grandfather's. It's been providing tunes while I work up here in the attic. But anyway, the stairway comes up right in the middle of my attic. This is the middle partition I just put in with a pretty nice hollow core door that I put two coats of polyurethane on. I like that a lot. And I put this partition up it has some sound treatment inside the partition. Not to be soundproofed, but just so it's not boxy and, and echoing and vibrating, I hope. It's got paneling underneath, drywall above. Same thing on the slanted ceiling and ceiling will be drywall. And then paneling all along as I'll cover this stuff up the same way I did in the other room. It'll get covered with paneling, but easy to remove to get into the storage. And I'll be that way on this side and on this side. And probably a case will get slid over there so the next big event is going to be over here I gotta I gotta frame this out with two by fours they won't be load bearing but I gotta pack it out and have a place to put outlets and run wires and do all that kind of stuff I gotta bring it down at an angle a little bit because that vent fan has to vent out the peak of the roof there's no ridge vent but that fans gonna get put on a thermostat or something to give some positive ventilation behind the insulation. So I gotta bring it down, finish it, insulate it, all that, and then get that fan put on a thermostat and, and a switch and things like that. So the, the big event is getting that settled. I also have some work to do down here in the corners. Uh, the, the back there is a little bit of a gap in it that I have to finish off. Same thing on the other side. There's a couple little gaps. That's the last of the insulating that has to be done up here. I got a hole in the floor. This is the last piece of subfloor. So basically this end is the last thing I've been kind of procrastinating on or, or you know, working from one end over on everything. On the, the subfloor I ran over, the insulation I ran over, everything I've done throughout has started on the other end and kind of come this way. So it's time to deal with the, the aftermath of all that. This has got to get settled so I can start working. So I got a hole down there. I have to pull like a number six wire up and uh, bring a 60 amp circuit up and split it out. I'm going to put a box right over here near the stairway. I'm going to put a, an electric box right over here. Probably cover a little doorway or something. So I got to get this wall settled. I got a little bit of work to do with the insulation yet. Got to get the floor settled. Got to get that wire run so that this room can come to the level. I want to run over now. This is the really fun part. The other room is pretty well done. So I'm standing here in the south end of my attic and right in the middle is that new partition. So it's about was well, about 18 feet here on this end. It's like 16 feet on the other end. So I come on over here and walk on through to the other side. So this is like just about finished. I, I got trim up last week. I, I trimmed around all the gaps and all there. Um, it's got all the recently uh, the thermostat, light switch, more outlets and all that kind of stuff. This is pretty well set. You know, I even I got the door trimmed. I just did that last weekend um, and got it looking pretty nice. It still needs like some baseboard trim. And the big thing is the whole attic is going to need carpet, some kind of floor. I'm thinking carpet tile. So it's all subfloored all the way across. But I didn't want to finish the baseboard and carpet in here. This is now a workroom. Right? With miter saw. This is my old like World War II era metal desk that's like a tank. I use it for a workbench. But I got, I got tools stuffed underneath the desk. Got my table saw in the corner over here. I got my ladder for when I need it. A big random cabinet that has tools stacked on top. Once this gets finished, I probably finally take that out back and burn it. But uh, this whole room is made um, the, the, the two gable, the, the gable and the middle partition, they're made with this nice like 3 8 It's not really nice. It's only 3 8 but tongue and groove pine 
a little clear finish on that. I have to put some clear finish on all the, the pine trim yet. It's just plain trim, and that all just needs a little clear coat of polyurethane. All paneling all around, and again, this paneling can all be removed really easily. It's got these toggles in here, and I just it's just a friction fit. I pop the toggles out, top and bottom, and I can pull any of these panels out and get in my storage behind for, you know, camping gear and random junk and uh, my old stereo system. I got to get out and set the stereo system eventually. Uh, I got air conditioner window units and fans. I have coolers from summer picnics. I have some junk we haven't used in a good long time. I got to get the Christmas tree stored somewhere in here and like it's under a drop cloth right now in the other room. So it's pretty effective storage and it's got nice decent space in here to work in, you know. I'm going to have my, my nice desk set up over here. It's kind of like a recording desk where the old box spring is now and everything. Uh, I have one window in here. I'll probably get some plants maybe. Uh, I'm going to have probably a futon over here. My nice old college, it's nice enough, my old college stereo right over here. Um, hopefully guitars all over the place. A couple of nice vintage amplifiers, effect pedals. I'll probably make a shelf for effect pedals and everything. Uh, for all my, my little DIY projects, and uh, and that's that. So that's a little bit of like where things are right now, what my, my immediate goals are in the other room. i got to get that settled so I can get all the tools put away and get out of here, get it cleaned up, carpet tile, and, and get into uh, having a nice kind of man cave studio space up here. So I'm really looking forward to all that. But anyway, that's where I'm at here. First week of March. This room is in great shape, uh, but I really, I can't use it much yet. But it's getting there. It's, it's really, really getting there. So that's it for now. Just want to check in and, and share some updates if anybody's watching this and catching up on it. And also some motivation for me to get my head wrapped around the things I need to be concentrating on this weekend and over next week. There's definitely still a lot to do. That's it for now. Take care. See ya.